we now have a new version of Clip Studio Paint, which is version 3.2.0. Now there are a lot of different features that they've added, but one in particular that I would like to go over is the new addition for Android file saving. So let's get to it. Just to get an idea of what we're looking at, on the previous version of Clip Studio, you didn't have access to any of the files that were saved within the system because they were within the app itself. Now on Android, if you were to look at your internal memory and then Android data on Clip Studio here, you're not able to see any of the files within this area. Now the reason for that was because of the differences in the security features that the Android operating system now has. So this affects how you have your workflow if you're going to be working with teams or if you're going to be collaborating with different people on having your files without having to export or import all the time it's a lot easier to just work directly with the files that you're drawing on so if we look at clip studio we can see the changes that have taken place once you go up to your menu and try to open a file so as you can see we have a different operation that's here where we can open the different clip studio files now before since it's saved within the app itself you'll notice that you have a previous save location now those are the ones that are saved internally within the app itself so all of these that are here you notice i've been working a long time in clip studio so i have a lot of different files from different clients all of those are saved within the app and the only way i would have access to those is if I export outside of the app into my different file structure, uh, internal memory or SD card. So since we have a different way of working with our files, you can go into your Clip Studio, which you notice it has the internal storage and then you have this documents folder, which includes Clip Studio. So to start off with the Clip Studio installation, if you don't already have a documents folder, you can go into your file system and go ahead and make one to house those files. You can see that on any of the links that they have on the update, uh, it shows you how to create that if you don't have that already. But I already have that since I worked with different programs, so it automatically generated the Clip Studio folder. So anything that you save now will go into this Clip Studio folder and you have direct access to those files. You also have the option to go over here and add a directory. So if you have anything that's outside of the Clip Studio folder, you can make a new directory that houses your artwork and you can go through there and save your files within those folders. Now, the reason this is real good is because if you have any kind of teams that are working collaboratively on different projects, you can have all of those things separately in case you have internal syncing programs or if you're using any form of cloud service that gives you the ability to save to those folders that way others have direct access to those clip files so what i'm going to do is just add a directory and then we're going to go over here to the root folder and then we're going to add a folder that i just created called test and you can see there are no items in there so based on the Android operating system, we need to give Clip Studio access to it. So you just simply click on use this folder. It'll ask you if you want to give access and we'll say allow. And now we can save anything that we create to this test folder. So you can set that up for any synchronization between your teams or any other collaborative projects or just simply for yourself for ease of access. So now if we were to create a new drawing and we just have anything on it and then you go to save as it brings up this menu where you can type in your name as usual we'll go to OK and now you can see that you can save this to test and so if I save and then I go into the folder itself you look here in the internal storage and the test folder you can see that we have our illustration clip file so this makes it a lot easier for you to save 
your files without having to go through the export process or the import process. Now if we close this and then we go back up to open, you can see that the illustration clip file is ready to go off in your test folder that you created. Another thing that is interesting with this update is that you can have subfolders within this area. So if we go over here to our file manager again, and we go up to the top and we will create a folder. We'll just call this folder one. So you have your test folder and then you have folder one. So now if we go over here, you notice that it automatically updates and you have folder one, which is a subfolder uh, for the area that you've been working in. So say for instance, you have a different comic, you have different pages, uh, you can save your pages into this folder here and house everything together to be a little bit more organized. And of course, from there, you can synchronize test using whatever software you have, like uh, OneDrive, and then everything would go into this folder here and synchronize within those. It's just a lot easier for you to save and back up your work or again, working with any form of a team environment would allow people to pick up these files here without having to go through a full import and export process. If you have any files outside of this folder that you created, you can actually access it by going up to open storage. So I'm in my open dialog. If I want to open up a file that's not within here, I can go up to open storage. And so in this case, we're going to go here and we're going to go to the space boy. So you notice this opens up. Well, I hope that gives you an idea of how you can work with the new file structure that it has without having to use the old file management. Uh, this gives you access to work with all of your files directly, uh, be collaborative with your teams, uh, synchronized to different setups that you have without having to go through the process of import and export. So I think this is a real good change and it's going to really make things work a lot better and a lot smoother when I have to work with different clients or different projects.